What's going on folks, you're watching The Hungry Hand Gunner. I'm Nick and it's time for the Millennial Mag Dump. So I've been perusing a little bit of Governor Northrum. I, the new dude over there in uh, Virginia or whatever, his, his new gun control stuff. Um, and a lot of it's stuff we've seen before. They're going to close the gun show loophole. First of all, it's not really a thing. Um, in private sales, which is a problem for a number of reasons, not least among them. My private property is mine. Um, if you tell me how I can use or dispose of that and set limits for that, that's bullshit. The biggest one that really got me, though, was, I'm trying to remember exactly how it was worded, but no one under the age of 18 can possess, purchase, or use firearms. If you read that quick, uh, it's like, well, yeah, no shit. Kids aren't allowed to, to possess firearms or purchase firearms, but that use one. I can't help but think that there's something nefarious about the way they worded that shit. So, a lot of us grew up, myself included, shooting guns. I mean, from the time of BB guns with Cub Scouts, and then which I know isn't a firearm. And then 22s and shotguns with Boy Scouts. And then shooting almost all the time on weekends with my dad from the time I was a teenager on up. Uh, and that's ultimately what started my enthusiasm for this hobby and my interest in this hobby and it kind of it kept me from being afraid of guns respect them sure uh, but being afraid of them no because I had that exposure to them growing up I knew what they were capable of I also knew that they were infinitesimally what infinitely unlikely to ever go off on their own there are exceptions so it taught me to respect firearms it taught me how to use them responsibly how to be safe with them all that while I was under the age of 18. So that when I became an adult and I started buying my own firearms, I wasn't a complete novice. I wasn't completely uh, inexperienced about gun safety. I knew the ins and outs of being safe with a gun, even if I wasn't uh, that proficient at that level, which I was better than a lot of people that I knew growing up. So if you're going to say that uh, people under 18 can't use firearms, what you're going to end up doing is creating a generation of adults that are scared of them, that don't understand them, that are unsafe with them. So later on, if you decide that you want to ban something outright, and you have a whole generation for the most part that got out on their own when all of a sudden they didn't have that time for dad or mom or whoever to instruct them while they were growing up, and it's a foreign object to them. They're going to look at something like this Kimber and be scared of it. They're not going to understand that, you know, the hammer's back, safety's on, safety's off, you got to pull the trigger to make it go. It's not going to do anything until you pull that trigger. Um, they're not going to they're not going to have a clue because you made it illegal for them to get any exposure to that under a supervised environment. So, if these people aren't scared of them and they go out and buy one, the foundational formulative what's the word I'm trying? Formative time for them to be getting a good foundation as far as gun safety has already gone by. Um, so I think you'd actually end up seeing a lot of uptick in accidents and negligent discharges because of that. But again, if you wanted to outright ban something, you're going to have a whole bunch of people that that's a foreign concept to them, that's a foreign object, and they might be like, oh yeah, no, I've never needed one of those, I didn't grow up using one of those, so yeah, yeah, I'm, I can get on board. If it'll, if it'll decrease gun violence and senseless shootings, then yeah, we'll surrender our right to that. And I may be way off base with my analysis of that, but given everything else they've tried and their emotional marketing to vulnerable people, um, I can't help but think that's a very nefarious aspect of his gun control plan. So for my friends and family still living there, um, I was stationed there for a little while. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can really do down here but try to spread awareness and let you guys know that there are some awesome houses for sale in my area here in Georgia. So as always guys, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Keep shooting. I'll see you next time.